Welcome to CG channel. Before we begin, I'd like to request you to share your thoughts about my videos. Is there any specific topic you'd like me to make a video on? Also, I'll need your support and love, so please subscribe to my channel and hit like if you really like my videos. Also, share feedback on what I can improve on and I'll make it a point to comply. So, in today's video, we'll be talking about making a cross-reference in Adobe InDesign, so let's get started. So my document already has the paragraph style and the heading applied here. In case if you missed my video on styles, please click on the link above to learn about it. So let's say I want a link from my first paragraph to a particular heading straight away. So what I'm going to do is type in see more on and I'm not going to mention the page number because that's the task of InDesign and that's what we're going to learn today. So let's go to Window, Type and Tables and Cross References. So let's drag the Cross Reference panel to the right so we are able to see the text as well. And click on the, the Create a New Cross Reference button at the bottom. From here, Let's link it to paragraph, the first paragraph, and then we will choose the heading. So from the left panel, let's click on heading. Yes, then you will find the list of text the heading style has been applied to. So let's select heading four for now. And you'll find that InDesign has automatically updated the details in the text. So. If you don't like the quotation marks, just click on the small pen icon next to the format option and remove the quotation marks from there. Like that, just remove it and press OK. And you will find that the quotation mark is gone. If you don't want the heading 4 to show, we can just, from the format option, just select page number and you will find it updating in the text and then hit OK. So now if we move heading 4 to another page, in fact, let's do it. Let's go to type and then insert break character and page break. You will find that heading 4 has already moved to the following page. And interestingly, the reference that we had made a while ago has also been updated automatically. Another way to create cross-reference is through text anchor. So let's do that now. So in heading 3, paragraph, let's add the text see more on and we'll not mention the page number much like the last time and then we'll move on to the heading where we want this reference to direct us to just by clicking on it so let's place the cursor next to heading 2 for this one and from the cross reference panel click on the menu option on the right the stacked up horizontal lines is what i mean and go to new hyperlink destination and from the pop-up menu, we'll name it Heading 2 and then we'll head back to Heading 3 where we had added the text See More On as we need to insert the anchor point there. So we'll need to have the cursor next to the text See More On. And then click on the Create New Reference Point button at the bottom. And this time, our link to will be the text anchor uh, as we're demonstrating text anchor so that's going to be our link to and in the destination option you will select heading 2 from the drop down list and we'll also change the format to page number as we don't really want the reference to have the heading name and, and that's it and then we'll hit ok 
So now to demonstrate how our cross-referencing is working, let's go to File and Export. And from the Save as Type option, uh, we can select Adobe PDF Interactive. For the name, you can give any name that brings a smile to your face and hit save. Once the PDF has been exported, it should open automatically. So from, from there, you can click on the cross references you created. So there, there we have it. So let's click on page six here and see if it takes us to page six. It does. It does work. And let's try the text anchor link that we created with heading three, I guess. Where is heading three? There it is. So let's click on page two there. And you see it, it works wonderfully. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.